Today, in honor of International Women's Day, I'm sharing with you an updated video on the film photography YouTube channels run by women. Hey everyone, um, I'm Allie from Allie's Vintage Camera Alley. My name is Archie, I am a photographer and content creator. My name is Karin Mayuka and I am a photographer. I first got into film photography at college and I just fell in love with it from the first day. Shooting film helps me to focus more on the process rather than the result. Everything I learned about film photography was probably from YouTube. This video is intended to share information, uh, share these YouTube channels that are run by women and talk about the representation of women, especially in the photography space. In my experience, women have been underrepresented in various places by various channels over time. There has been a lack of balance in leadership and this is one of the reasons that I see as a lack of representation. I find that when women start running and leading things in the community, that you do see a better balance of women in things. <laughs> so when you get into talking specifically about analog photography, this could be photo walks, uh, feature channels on social media, uh, groups, meetups, podcasts, YouTube channels, different things. So this is going to be very similar to the videos that I've released in the past. However, one thing is different this year. So I actually got some of these amazing YouTubers to record a little clip for this video specifically talking about either like why they shoot film, why film, what they like about film photography, and also um, some of them like, you know, why create videos on film photography? Why do a YouTube channel? So I'm really excited to share that with you today. And I just wanna say a big thank you to um, the folks that did send in those videos. Hey everyone, um, I'm Allie from Allie's Vintage Camera Alley and Molly asked me if I could share why I like to shoot film and why I make videos about it. Um, the cliche answer would be that I love the look of film and I definitely don't really get that with digital cameras. There are simulators and stuff like that that you can use uh, to simulate the look of film but it's just not the same for me. But the real answer would be the cameras that shoot the film. Um, I guess as you can tell from the name of my channel that I do love vintage cameras. It is what motivates me to take pictures. I love so many different cameras, especially the Nikon F, um, and that's really what got me into shooting with film in the first place. Um, as for why I make videos about it, the reason that I got into making videos about my cameras and about the film that I shoot with and all of that was because I really wanted to show people that anyone can do it, that it's not as hard as people think it is, that you can fix up an old box camera that you find at the flea market, or a lot of messages that I get from my viewers are probably 90% are from people who are getting cameras from family members who've passed away or family members passing down their old cameras to them and they have no idea if film is available, how you develop it, or if these cameras are even usable, and the joy that they get when they find out that they can fix the camera and they can use it is the reason that I continue with my channel and make these videos. So yeah, that's why I love to shoot film and that's why I love making videos about it. Hey Molly, uh, well there are many reasons why I enjoy shooting film. It's a fascinating world, as you know. Uh, however, I believe uh, that the main reason why I started and that remains super important for me is that shooting film helps me to focus more on the process rather than the result. Um, it helps me to be more present and aware of uh, my rhythm, which is fantastic and which has helped me so much in my personal process as a photographer. And regarding YouTube, I think it's important for women and other minorities to show our work despite any fear we might feel. I think representation is so important. And on a lighter note, I think that having a YouTube channel has helped me so much to be consistent in my photography. I think that having an audience, no matter how small it is, is like having an accountability partner, which is fantastic for maintaining consistency, which for me is super difficult. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much, Molly, for this video. And I love your channel. Bye bye.
So there are so many reasons why I love film photography, but one of the main ones is the intentionality that you have to have when you take a photograph. Because unlike digital photography, where you can take thousands upon thousands of pictures on a film roll, you have 32 exposures at best. And this means that you have to put a lot of thought into the photograph you're taking and really commit. So I really enjoy this limitation because you have to be mindful of the moment that you're capturing. On top of that, I am someone who's not really that good at editing. And so I really enjoy that you can choose your film stock based on the effect that you desire in your photographs. And I feel that film just adds so much more character to the photographs than I ever could in Lightroom. Plus I also really enjoy how film photography has taught me to kind of remove myself and and detach myself from the outcome. Because with analog, it's a lengthier process. You have to wait a few days if you're lucky to get your photos back from the lab. And somehow this is another aspect that I've really come to enjoy over time. When it comes to film photography content, I am a huge fan. Everything I learned about film photography was probably from YouTube. And the film photography community online is one of the most supportive and encouraging spaces that I've ever encountered. It's just so beautiful to be able to interact with other people who share the same passion and learn from them. And this is also why I make my own YouTube videos because I not only hope to be able to teach people something, but since starting my channel, I have also learned so much from people along the way and from my viewers in the comments. So it's just great to be able to share experiences in a space like this. Hi, my name is Archie. I am a photographer and content creator. I create short form and long form content under the name Archie's Lens. And I love film photography because it is just a magical process. I love the analog process. It's more tangible and experimental in a way than digital. I love trying out different film stocks. It's just so much fun and I love to create content about photography, film photography, and just being creative because I'm so passionate about it. And I also think we need more women in the online space talking about photography. It is for everyone. So I definitely want to be that representation and maybe inspire someone who thought that maybe it was too scary or it wasn't for them or they didn't feel welcome to do it. Um, and they see me and they feel like they, they can go for it and just try it out because film photography is so much fun. I first got into film photography at college and I just fell in love with it from the first day. Naturally, I'm not very creative. I'm not very good at painting or drawing or anything like that. So film photography really gave me the opportunity to experiment, try take some control over what I wanted to capture and also <laughs> learn from a lot of mistakes. But I really enjoyed that side of film photography. I've shot so many <laughs> rolls of film I'm never going to look at again, but that is all part of the fun. And genuinely, I prefer film over digital because I really enjoy the physicality of it. I find it very cathartic from manually winding the film, the sound of the shutter. I love developing my own prints and getting the negatives. And also the camera and film photography really gave me a tool for connecting with people. As a natural introvert, getting to go on film photography walks and connecting with people and becoming part of a community is a really important part of me doing film. And I think that's what led me to wanting to do YouTube videos and talking about film because it gave me the opportunity to connect with even more people outside of the UK. And now a lot of my friends are film photographers who I met through YouTube or community events. And that's what I love about film photography. Hello, and thank you to Eclecta Chrome for asking me to be part of this video. Um, yeah, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Karin Mayuka and I am a photographer, mainly but not purely film photographer based in Münster, Germany. And I've been doing YouTube videos about photography ever since I think 2020. And one of the questions was why I do film photography. And I feel like it's just way too many reasons to squeeze into one video, but I can try to break down the core elements of it. And I think for me, one of the core reasons to to gravitate towards film photography definitely is the tangibility and the hands-on approach of film. I just love the whole tactile experience of loading a 
film into the camera, of winding the film, of adjusting everything manually because I've, I mainly shoot with manual cameras. I develop my film myself, which is a, pro a part of the process that I really, really love because it kind of lets you dig in with chemicals and really be hands-on with it. And you have so much control over the whole process from shooting to the final result and be so hands-on with every step. It's something that I just love about film photography and the pure fact to have something real and tangible in this world is kind of the, the, the main drive for me to keep going because for me it's kind of a very strange thought to not have any tangible things of my images of my work but just have ones and zeros on a computer so film photography and having negatives that i can store away kind of gives me the feeling of being at ease because there's something real that i put into this world which is very nice to think of and of course there's plenty of other reasons as for example the endless creative possibilities to choose a film stock that would go well with what situation to have to kind of make choices because you cannot go back to your choices once you've done them because you load in one film and then you go with it. So it just starts with choosing black and white or color. And I kind of love that film photography in the nature of things is kind of limiting you, yourself to just go with the choices you made in the beginning, which is something I love. And yeah, I also do YouTube videos about photography. And I guess one of the reasons is just that I want to share my love and my passion of photography and hopefully also connect to other people that way. And back when I started with film photography, I was also watching a lot of YouTube myself and I couldn't find so many channels that had a female lead as the kind of a host in, in the channel which kind of felt like it was lacking representation so one small part of me kind of starting a channel was also hoping to build up more representation for female creators which is why I ended up here and been going strong with this channel for nearly four years now which is insane for me to think of yeah and I guess that's it for me so once again thank you so much for including me I'm definitely looking forward for this video to come out so that I can discover more photographers that I wasn't familiar with before well and that's everything for now so happy International Women's Day all right now let's dive into the rest of the channels all right we've got analog diaries which is run by Marina she has so many cool videos especially a lot of portrait shoots and vision 3 motion picture film from Kodak shooting I always enjoy her videos. She does so many creative shoots. It's r such a good channel. Then we have Analog Holly, which is based in the UK. And Holly, oh, I got to know Holly a little bit more um, doing Analog Spotlight with her in 2023. And she is fabulous. She's got so many videos on her channel going through different things uh, in the darkroom, all things film, developing really cool projects. It's such a cool channel. Then we have Cameras and Cats, and Cameras and Cats is a really good channel if you enjoy travel videos. Uh, a lot of these videos are travel related, and on each trip, she brings like six different cameras at least. So it's so cool to see all the photos from different cameras. All right, then we've got Captured by Sam. I love this channel. Sam has such a good presentation style and her videos are always incredibly well produced. She has a lot of good topics on here. She shoots, um, she's got some Pentax 6-7 videos, medium format, just really good stuff here. All right, then we have a channel by Carla Diaf. And I believe this is a Spanish speaking channel, so you're going to need subtitles if you speak English. But there are a lot of cool videos here to check out. All right, and then we have Chris B. Photo. Now, Chris is located on the West Coast in the USA. And Chris also has a really cool podcast as well. There are so many great videos here on different cameras, um, different outings and stuff. It's, it's just such a good channel. All right, so this is a relatively new channel for me. This is by Elise Taylor, and she got some cool film-related videos there. Micro 110 film camera, that looks really cool. And talking about film cameras for beginners. So again, lots of good stuff there to check out. All right, we have Faye Corpus here, and there's a lot of really cool video diaries here, um, vlogs, different stuff to check out, different cameras, some really cool videos. 
All right, and then we've got this channel by Flora K. And I love Flora's videos. Um, I mean, especially her most recent one, Photographers uh, Who Fears to Share. I mean, she's got a lot of good content here and like talking about different stuff. Um, so definitely check out her channel. All right, then we've got Taylor at Grain Check. Uh, Taylor is also part of the USA-based Sunny 16 podcast, which is on YouTube. Not to be confused with the UK-based Sunny 16 podcast, which is not on YouTube. <laughs> no, they are on YouTube, uh, but their podcast is just not based on YouTube. So Taylor's got a lot of great videos, always really well produced. All right, then we've got Idol Moments. This is a new one for me, um, but there's there's a really cool one there uh, about the Nicromat EL, so definitely check that out. Then we've got Jen Golay, again, relatively new one for me, um, but hey, she has a Roflex 2.8. Uh, lot of, some cool videos there. All right, then we have Jess Hobbs up in Canada, and Jess has a lot of really cool um nature related landscape videos uh, but she also does some cool things like uh she had some festival music festival videos that i really enjoyed um she does a lot of great stuff joan michelle super cool channel um super cool photographer videographer filmmaker uh short filmmaker i mean she's got lots of cool videos on her channel all right, Julia Ritter. Lots of really cool videos. Some night photography. I really enjoyed her night photography videos. Lotta Mild, definitely one to check out as well. Lots of cool videos. This is definitely one if you enjoy travel as well. Lucy Lumen. <laughs> I couldn't not include Lucy here as well. And even though Lucy, she started a different channel, um, which isn't film related, but she still is going with her film channel. Uh, she just uploaded a new video called The New Gear, New Me. Um, so definitely check out that channel if you haven't yet already. All right, Mariana Goncalves, there we go. Lots of film vlogs, uh, film comparisons. This is a really cool channel, so definitely check it out. All right, Marlene in motion. Lots of cool film vlogs here. Definitely one to check out. Um, I mean, some New York based uh, videos and even a video from Boston. Super cool to see that. My old hometown. All right, Monica. So Monica from MKR Shoots Film, she's got so many videos here. She's got a lot of videos on different types of film. So if you're ever interested in shooting uh, a type of film uh, or if you're looking for a new type of film to shoot here, um, definitely check out her channel. She's got some cool videos about cameras too. Uh, and she's just an all around great person. So definitely check out Monica's channel. Molly Fletcher, here we go, another Molly. <laughs> um, some really cool stuff here, uh, different vlogs. All right, one month, two cameras. Now this isn't mainly film, but I couldn't not include this channel because it is so awesome. And if you like film cameras, there's a chance that you might like vintage digital cameras. Uh, and this is all about what Ali's channel is about. So definitely check it out. Srad or Srad or Srad. <laughs> I'm still not sure how to say that. Um, I love this channel so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these videos are so cool. Um, different cameras, different films, different places. Just like and really cool, like down to earth vibe. Like just just so cool to check out. So. All right, Carmen from The Undefined Photographer. This is a lot of really cool um, vlogs, videos about film, different trips, different places. Uh, it's very, very cool. Always well put together, these videos. All right, Tilly Shull. Now, Tilly has a little bit more film videos uh, recently, but she does have some digital in here. Um, but as of late, there are 
quite a few film ones. You got the Polaroid I2, you got the Holga there. Yvonne! Um, almost last but not least, not quite last, and <laughs> definitely not least, Yvonne puts so much energy and effort into her videos. They are amazing. Um, she's got she got a lot of videos about different stuff, uh, film related, photo shoot related, being a um, you know creative. It's great. Her channel is awesome. All right, so Underdevelop. Now this is Sissy Lou's channel and she does a lot of videos on different film and stuff, always really well produced. So definitely one worth checking out. Sometimes there's this perspective that there aren't as many women as men in the photography space, the community, like different places when you start talking about women's representation. And that's why the lack of representation is because there's an actual like imbalance in the numbers. Uh, but I would challenge that. And I would say in my experience, I've actually seen an incredible amount of women in spaces, especially in the photography space, especially in the analog photography space. And they're just not represented in certain things. So one of the reasons why I make these videos is uh, in honor of International Women's Day and Women's Month, to celebrate women, to talk about uh, and bring awareness to, and just to share people's channels that I really enjoy, that I've found. Um, but also because in the past, I've had experiences where um, I've been you know, watching a couple YouTubers videos and some of them are talking about women. They might say something like, oh, well, I only know of like three channels. And uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why I made the initial video, uh, made the second video and I'm making this video because there are so many, there's so much more. And I just want people to know <laughs> that there's more. Editing Molly here. When I started editing this video, it became like, way too long. Like it was almost like an hour long for everything that I wanted to fit in here. So what I decided to do is just keep it for the analog film photography channels that are run by women and showing you those, talking about those. And then uh, I was going to have some other resources like uh, groups for women, businesses, women owned businesses, uh, labs, all that stuff, like podcasts, everything like if you wanted like resources of um, groups to join that were uh, for women only uh, or focused for women, or if you wanted to go and support some businesses, uh, I'm gonna leave a link to a resource page that has all of those there. I mean, there's so many groups like the She Hearts Film in the UK, Not Your Grandmother's uh, Camera Club, uh, she shoots film in Australia and I will just leave it there. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some new channels to watch and I hope you enjoyed hearing from some of those channels themselves. So that being said, I'm going to end it here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.